Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to my channel. Um, today I wanted to sit down and make a video um, talking about balance. I feel like this is the most balance I've ever felt like in my life and um, took a very long time to find what that meant to me. Um, and I think honestly balance is going to be different for everybody. So I just kind of wanted to, you know, talk about what I've done to kind of make my life feel balanced if that makes sense. <laughs> um, so if you guys have watched my YouTube videos or follow me on Instagram, you know that I um, lost my period because of um, under eating, over exercising. Um, to be honest, I think it was way more of the nutrition aspect for me than the working out aspect. But regardless, I um, lost my period. So I had to, you know, go all in pretty much to um, gain the weight back, you know, fix my hunger cues, get back to where you know my baseline get my period back um so once that happened and my hunger cues were kind of in check and i like i feel like my body like balanced out like i wasn't still gaining weight like i've been i want to say i've been at the same weight for a while now like i think this is like my baseline where my body's happy um but it did take a while you know i when i was restricting what i was eating um it was, you know, pretty much a vis vicious cycle. Like, I would be really strict during the week, and then on the weekends, I would, like, um, drink and then end up, like, overeating, like, binging, pretty much. Um, and then, or even if I wasn't drinking, like, I would still, like, eat, like, a bunch of, like, treats on the weekend and then, you know, feel really bad about myself on Monday and then go back to restricting. And it was just, like, a whole big cycle. So, um, you know, part of getting my period back and, like, eating all these foods um and gaining weight and stuff i feel like that whole process kind of made me find food freedom like i feel like i um i'm not as afraid to eat foods like i i eat whatever i want um you know during the week i mean not only during the week like mostly most of the time i like to eat like healthy well-balanced meals um healthy like I, I try so hard to not describe words at, or foods as healthy and not healthy, but going off on a tangent. So for me, um, balance is eating a lot of nutritious meals um, throughout the week and on the weekends and then, you know, sprinkling in some fun things like ice cream or uh, donuts. Um, I love a sugary coffee. Um, usually get caramel iced coffee with oatmeal. Oh, oatmeal. Oat milk, iced latte, usually. Um, it, it depends on where I go. But I absolutely love a fancy iced coffee, which I never used to just go out and drink. Like, if I went and got a cup of coffee, like, at a, at a coffee place or whatever, um, I would always just get black coffee and just be sad. And <sighs> that's really no way to live. Black coffee, not it. Um, so the food aspect, I feel like I don't... Um, you know, I don't feel guilty after I eat certain foods. Um, and that's something that definitely took a lot of time. And, you know, if that's something that you feel like if you struggle with um, eating foods and then feeling guilty afterwards or, you know, feeling like you need to, like, restrict or punish yourself, like, that is that is a hard mindset to break. But honestly, like, you just need to, like, keep allowing yourself to have those foods because once you get into that restrictive mindset, that's when you run into trouble because then you're going to binge on those foods if you're not allowing yourself to have them and then it's just like i was saying before it's a vicious cycle um so that's that's how i feel about nutrition in terms of balance um working out like i said before i think that fitness wasn't like my big issue um it was more of the food aspect but um and now i'm a lot more comfortable with taking rest days than i used to be um i do work out like five to six times a week but that's mostly just because like genuinely i love it like going and working out is like my favorite part of the day um i love sweating i i just absolutely love working out so like it is hard for me to rest but um you know there are when i get my face microneedled i have to take a rest day after that um which in the past i don't think i'd be okay with like i think i literally would have gone to the gym and just like walked because you're not supposed to sweat um, instead of like fully taking a rest day, um, sorry, 
Um, last night, me and Scott went to the Rangers game when we got back. We got home super late. Um, and I only got like six hours of sleep, but... I t and I took a rest day, like I slept in today and still only got six hours of sleep, it was tragic. Um, but in the past, I would have woken up like at my normal time, gone to the gym on like four hours of sleep and been like, can't miss my workout. Um, personally for me, I'm a morning workout gal. I can't work out after work. Like I'm just so shot and hung usually hungry after work. Um, and all I want to do is go home. So I just like to do it in the morning. Honestly, it's the best way to start the day. Um, but as I was saying, I'm more okay with taking rest days than I used to be. Um, I struggle with rest in general, like I'm always moving, but um, I've learned to become okay with taking rest days. Um, and again, I think that this is just something that comes with time, but there, there is too much of a good thing. Working out too much can be a bad thing for people. Also, you need your body needs time to recover. You need rest. Um, so, you know, that's just something that you have to tell yourself, like, Today, sleeping in was more beneficial to me than waking up after four hours of sleep. I would have had such a shitty workout anyway. Like, I don't- I would have gotten nothing out of it. There's no reason to force yourself into that. No reason. Um, so rest days are important, and that's just something that, you know, you need to tell yourself, and you just need to do it. That's the easiest way. You just need to take the rest day, and, you know, you realize the next day that you didn't gain ten pounds, and the world didn't end, and then you become okay with taking rest days. Um, what else? So fitness, nutrition, um, a big thing for me, um, was alcohol. I, I love to have a drink. I love to have a good time. I'm 25 years old, almost 26. Very close. Don't like it. Closer to 30 than 20? No thanks. Um, <laughs> but I still, I love having a drink. Like, I love the taste of it. I love, you know, feeling a little tipsy, having a good time, whatever. Um, but... An issue that I had in the past, when I was in my restrictive mindset, when I drank, I it would lead to a, a full-blown binge. I would just eat the entire time I was drinking, you know, um, if it got... At the end of the night, like, I would just, like, be shoving my face with food, like, anything that I could find. It was, it was bad. Um, and then I'd wake up, like, hungover, feeling terrible about everything that I ate. My battery is flashing, and I'm on a roll. I'm gonna keep going until it dies. Um, so, and then once, once you know, I got out of the restrictive mindset and like the binging wasn't an issue, um, I still like would, my problem is I don't do anything like in the middle, which is why finding a balanced lifestyle has become so hard, hard for me. Um, I'm like either 0% or 100%, like all or nothing, that's just the type of person I am. So when it comes to drinking, when I'm having fun, like having a good time, I don't like to stop. And I just overdo it, and then, um, I'm old now, I, just, I don't recover like I used to. I get such bad hangovers, it like takes me out for a full 24 hours. Like sometimes I still have like the day two headache, I don't know if you get that, but it sucks. <laughs> To be feeling it two days after, but um, you know, the day after like drinking too much, waking up hungover, like I again like get those feelings of like feeling really bad about myself. I it also gives me such bad like I get anxiety, hangover anxiety. Um, I'm so anxious the next day. Um, I feel gross. Like any bad describing adjective that you could think of, I pretty much feel that after drinking. Um, so. This, and, and honestly, this has only been like for like the past few months that I've that I've stopped. Not that I've stopped drinking cold turkey, but I've stopped drinking to the point where I'm like I've had too much. Um, I I I think in the past like four months I've been hungover once, which is amazing. You know, obviously there's still gonna be those times where you drink a little bit too much and you have a hangover. Like that's just life. Like life's too short to not you know have fun. Um, but I've started to like learn or know my limits, I guess. Um, and I've just found like I feel so much happier not drinking so much. Like not that I had a drinking problem, I just realized like the after effects make me feel so terrible. Um, and I, I wasn't taking that into account when I was drinking and now just like 
changing that like stopping after like two drinks or just like a drink like i'm so happy like that's all that i need and i feel it's taken me 25 almost 26 years to get here not that i was drinking when i was a child but you know what i mean um <laughs> it just like i said like this is all a work in progress and it's always going to be a work in progress but like i really do feel like between fitness and like my nutrition and drinking um I'm really finding like a more balanced lifestyle and I'm really happy and I feel really good. Um, another thing that I've been trying to implement is um, saying yes to more things during the week. I am such a creature of habit. I love to, I love my routine. Um, I wake up at 4.45 and go to the gym. I am asleep by nine o'clock. Like I have such a rigid routine during the week. Um, Honestly, I don't function well with with a lack of sleep and I just love to relax after work. So um, I just, you know, get into my routine. So um, I'm trying to say yes to more things during the week, like um, getting dinner with friends, just grabbing a drink with a friend. Um, like I said, last night, me and Scott went to a Rangers game, which I mean, that's not something that's going to happen super often. That was like kind of, you know, a random thing, but um, th that would have stressed me out so much more in the past than it did. Like, I would have been worried about getting to the gym in the morning, um, eating dinner, um, I, so many, th getting my appropriate amount of sleep, everything. Like, it would have stressed me out, and, like, I just went with it last night. I had a lot of fun. I am sleep deprived. I'm tired, but I had fun. Like, I came to the realization that, you know, I wasn't super happy in my job, um, and like it just kind of felt like this was still school like i'm waking up doing my work coming home like going to sleep and just doing it all over again and i'm like that's how i felt during my internship and i was like why is it still happening like this is real life and i was like this is this is just what life is now like it's just work and and that's it like you need to like i can't just be looking forward to the weekend like every single week like counting down the hours I, I think that like sprinkling in some like fun activities during the week, like going and grabbing dinner with friends, um, it, it's really gonna change everything, like my mindset um, and everything. And I know that sounds so silly probably, but for me like that, that's hard. It's hard for me to tr break out of my routines. Um, but like I said, you know, it's all, it's, it is all about balance and I do feel like I'm really finding it. Um, and I'm really happy. So that's really all I have. My camera's gonna die any second now. Um, I hope that you found this video helpful. If you did, um, don't forget to like and subscribe and I'll see you guys next time. Okay. <laughs>